Hey people, Angel Tier 3v3 Faction War. This is Greysark, Undercity, and Eldar versus Space Marines for the Blue Eldar team. We have two Warlocks. First up is Hekmek, and we have Daniel Grushin. These guys are melee spellcasters that can leap into combat, some powerful disruption and support. Alongside EM7 is a Farseer support hero that fights in melee combat with some powerful buffs, debuffs, and control abilities. Red Space Marines first up is Katla with a Tech Marine starts off ranged combat, can also support the structures and repair, even get into some melee. Black Templars elite scheme here, recolored red. Alongside HF Sade with a Force Commander of regular offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. We have some Heresy Era Lunar Wolves here. And rather off the teams, Rava with an Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default. Begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Some Lamenters in the bottom here up against one of those Warlocks in the mid. Farseer versus Force Commander getting in those special attacks. Banshees trying to get onto the Tactical Marines. Caught a little bit too far forward there, but they are kiting with some scouts in support. Force Commander now sees off some Dire Avengers. Big old specials, but the Banshees stopped chasing the Tactical Marines there. Just as they got that special attack, a bit of a mistake by EM7. Tactical Marines now able to get some Bolt of Fire in, but they do take out the Scouts. So I guess that was a decent move in the end. In the Northeast, Warlock starts strong against the Tech Marine. The Space Marines, of course, can be notoriously slow in 3v3 battles, especially if they do not get a second Tax Squad up or a second Scout Squad up quickly. And you saw the Apothecary go down there. Banshee's coming out slightly later for Grushin, but doing some good work. Nice little assist as well from EM7 here, just coming down to see if the ally needed help. Mastercrafted Bolter doing its thing early on for Katla. That almost 38 piercing DPS and the awesome high powered shot we just saw on those poor Dire Avengers there. Warlock getting some shooty lightning hands going on. Generator goes up. Tactical Marines are creeping forward. Dodging a grenade, but getting close to Howling Banshee's not sure what that was all about. I guess they just wanted to get some cover. Shotguns are in there to support as well. And doing some good damage. They do get away with it. Getting in behind these Dire Avengers here to negate the uh, cover of this shield. And it is perfect cover from those shields. Master Coffee Bolt a high powered shot again. And Katla sees off the Eldar Menace in the northeast. Going to retake that VP, you would think. Farseer with Spirit Stones chasing off some Tactical Marines gets a special attack on the Force Commander. That's kind of a, a casual tossing aside of the Force Commander there. Now being pressured by Howling Banshee to get a special attack. These ladies, so dangerous for low level heroes. Is he going to get away? The Silk Marines are in play now with those bulky Heresy era jump packs, which look pretty cool. Meanwhile, Space Marines get their natural VP uncapped. And that is the Merciless Witchblade on Daniel Grushian's Warlock there. Fast here with the assist. Doing a good job assisting Bottom here early on EM7. Assault Marines jumping in. Then spotting two Howling Banshee squads and they get the hell out of there. Now a Power Bash from the Eldar. Dire Avengers, one of which does have the aspect. Devastators up. Finally for Raver. Catalyst still with no other squad in the Northeast. Unless it was lost very quickly and I missed it. I don't think so though. Scouts with a sergeant and shotguns. And of course we saw that Mastercrafted Bolter purchase. It's not like they aren't using their resources. Howling Banshee's getting in though. We saw the shotgun blast already used. I think if you know Banshees are around, you should be saving that shotgun blast for them. Or at least for the Warlock. That Avengers almost wiped out there. You already saw some Banshees wipe out Scouts in the south. Grenade, that's a nicely done by Katla. Unlucky not to get a model loss there. Tactical Marines could do some damage, but they're being tied up by the Warlock. And Banshee's now on retreat path. Could be very nasty, oh good grief. That guy decided to turn around for a second for some reason. Perhaps lucky to get away with two models there. What's this? Salt Marines doing their jumping. They're trying to wait for some support. Their Avengers are being forced off the power. Not sure exactly how much of it was bashed at least one generator I would think. More assault marines this time for Raver with a 1-1-1 build here. Marines, Devastators and Assault Squad. 
could jump over here. Might be able to get a squad lock, squad wipe, and they do. Well done. That was Daniel Grushin's Dar Avenger squad there going down. Double Banshees supported by the Farseer and Spiritual Rites is pretty powerful early on. Having trouble dealing with it right now. They do have some good tools though. Shotguns and Devastators. HF Sade never replaced. The Scouts, by the way, does have double Assault Marines though. That could be very fun later on. The double Merciless Strike, you hit that right. Could be quite dominant early Tier 2. But can they get Tier 2 in good time? Double cap against them. Tier 2 now for Hecmech. Did not get another unit up. It's quite a light Tier 1 actually from the three Eldar players. No Rangers, no Shurikens. These guys are going to die. Yep, bolt pistols get the job done. A little bit sloppy there from Hecmech. As soon as these guys jumped in, really should have been getting those Dire Avengers out of there. Maybe they had a grenade ready to throw and he was trying to set that up. But Katla, looking quite dominant now with the Salt Marines, upgraded scouts and that Mastercrafted Bolter. Able to get some decapping and capping done. Meanwhile, Southwest, we have a contested power for the Eldar built up with two gens. There's the Destructor. And of course that Merciless Switchblade. Awesome tier 1 weapon. Big damage. Knock back on ranged attacks and draining energy. Which is bad news for an Apothecary. Quite an energy intensive hero. Double Assault Marine Frontliner. That's pretty powerful. Supported by Apothecary and Force Commander around as well. Not sure where Ravers Assault Marines are. Oh they're down there. Right off screen. Are the Eldar really going to push against this? Three Assault Marine jumps is like game over, surely. I mean, they do have double Banshees supported by the by the Farseer. There's one jump. Devastator's now coming into play. Where is that Shotgun Blast going to go? There's another jump. Shotgun Scouts getting messed up. I, know. I don't think they even got their Shotgun Blast away there. Assault Marines got messed up by the... Warlock, Merciless Switchblade and those Banshees there. Not sure if these fellas jumped, did they? Maybe they did. Oh look at that, Farseer getting in using a fleet I think on the Devastators. Almost killed him. Almost killed him and this is nasty. On retreat. Somehow they get away without a loss. A little bit slow on this retreat here was Raver. Drops a model. They've gotten some decent kills in, in Tier 1 the Eldar, which is something that you can struggle to do against Space Marines. It's like you force them off, you force them off, you don't kill anything. And all of a sudden they're, they're in tier 3 and in your face. Force Commander doing some capping. Cues up the Power Fist, not the Thunder Hammer. With all the terror that these Banshees have caused. I thought the Thunder Hammer was going to be definite. We do have some webways up. Another one going up over here. Father Kerry getting his customized Storm Bolter can use that to shut down one of those enemy warlocks or the band or the Farseer maybe I should say. Of course one of turns to fight this. Got some support. Like that. Banshee Exarch with aspects of fleetness for EM7. And Daniel Grushins with aspects of strength. See that big spear there, it's a heavy melee weapon. Can help take out vehicles. Katla with a whirlwind up first thing in tier 2. I was not expecting that. That's the first thing. Dark Reapers for Hecmech. Good versus heavy and super heavy infantry. Can you get a jumps on though? No, not like that. Banshee's there to counter initiate, but are they going to be there quickly enough? And Tactical Marines with their Kraken Bolts, because Dark Reapers are heavy infantry, taking extra damage from it. Grenades going in. Katzler took their eyes off these Marines, I think, was watching the Assault Squad, and they got into trouble too. Banshee's going to be on you in a flash. Take your eyes off for literally two seconds and your squad can be in huge amounts of trouble. This whirlwind is way too far forward. Howling Banshees do not have their Exarch yet. But all those power melee attacks might be enough. Why are you not purchasing it here, Hecmec? The Exarch, there we go. It's on the way. Might not need it to take out the whirlwind. Here we see the Farsi helping out. Guide on the Banshees. And down goes the whirlwind. It was a bit too far forward there from Katla. But again, a nice assist from EM7. Eldar can really move it across the map to assist. Here's a Falcon from Daniel Grushin. He 
do have melter bombs on all three of these assault marines though. So if they can all jump on it and use it, that's basically a dead falcon. Tier 3 for EM7. Another falcon on the way this time from Hekmek. Not seen in any tier 2 units yet from the other space marine players. We saw that whirlwind of course. There's one melter bomb but uh, should be safe that close to the bases there. And this warlock is a menace with the merciless witchblade. Did Hekmek get it as well? No, got the witchblade of Pernus. I feel sorry for Catler's assault marines. Also with the Heart of Darkness to buff those Banshees. Here's the Power Fist doing some work. 85 DPS Heavy Melee. It will tear through stuff but attacks slowly and is nowhere near as good at dealing with infantry as the Thunder Hammer. Warlock goes down, Thun Teleporter Pack is in. And Armor of Alacrity now. It's quite a mobile Force Commander Grenade. Double Falcons to deal with. The Assault Marines of Katla do not have their Melter Bomb yet but they do have their Sergeant. And they're bashing power, look at this. Decent jump. But does not want to fight the Banshees for prolonged periods it seems. These guys are in big trouble. Angels of Death from Raver to try and save them, they should be okay I think. All top drops in. And he needs to be really careful. And her jump missed the Devastators. She's gonna go down. I think she's alright. Falcon took some more damage. Meanwhile, the power, all the gens were bashed. No is still up. But again, Banshee's constant menace here. Really surprised we didn't see the Thunder Hammer from HF Sade. That his Marine's going to get away. Looks like they're in full flight. They should be okay. This structure's not going to do it. Trying to get hits in with that Witch Bale of Kernus. Retains the Northeast VP, but did drop those three gens there. Heck mech. Got some late Dire Avengers out to help keep that Falcon repaired I suppose. There's a shotgun blast. Helping the Marines to escape. And a good thing too. Not sure if they would have got away if they weren't suppressed there the Banshees. They're okay. But now what is this apothecary going to do? If the shotgun blast have been used. They could just turn and harass them but the Force one is coming to help. Falcon now supporting a power bash, showing rear armor though to a missile launcher. There's that high powered shot on the Banshees, Assault Marines jumping in. Trying to focus down the Banshees but they are reinforcing off the Falcon. Double Assault Marines now with double melters. I don't think these guys have the energy to throw theirs or maybe they threw it already. It's getting low. Can the missile launcher of Katzler push up a little bit? No, I think they're off the field. Yes, they are. There's the other melter. Falcon is done. Nice assist from HFC. Really nice assist. Warlock taken out. Falcon taken out. And some models lost on the Banshees and Dire Avengers here. Grenade. Nice idea. Couldn't quite do it. Seer Council on the way for Daniel Grushin. Falcon now has the shield. Makes it pretty difficult to deal with. Well, maybe not. Force Commander kind of teleports in. Don't think they used the uh, Flesh Over Steel, though. Now they're just going after a Dire Avenger model. That's too much blood for a Dire Avenger to have. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Does get away. Flame attacks now. Autop jumps in out of nowhere with her spear. And Banshees were right there. What is this buff that I'm seeing on this stuff? I'm not sure what that was. Someone will tell me. Someone will tell me. Farseer now has the Rune Armor. And Gravity Blade. So Diesel Merciless. 373 to 136. Space Marines up against it here. Really are. Losing their natural, maybe losing this power too. Tier 3 for HF Seed. Raver's already there, as is EM7 and Daniel Grushin and the Seer Council are on the field. A squad of Warlocks with power melee weapons that can jump on you. It's scary stuff. Those Assault Marines thought the Banshees were bad. Get ready. Assault Marines have all survived though. And both of HF Seeds are level 2. What's going on northeast? 
Dara Avengers getting shots in, and they shall know no fear from the Tactical Marines. Level 3. It's a good jump. They might eat a grenade over there, though. Meanwhile, Banshees, I think... No, the Scouts are still alive. They just retreated off. Not sure the Tech Marines going to get away. And those Marines could be in trouble here. Distortion field on the Banshees. It's a good jump to help save them. Oh, I'm sure they wish they had that. And they shall not no fear now. Scouts coming in to assist. Banshee trying to fleet away. Katha retains the northeast. Here comes EM7 with an attempted assist. The Salt Marines did really well there. Messed up the range blob and then came back and helped out the tactical Marines. I don't think I've seen the ethereal slash used yet here. I'm sure it has been. Tactical Marines still in play. Level 4 now. Missile launcher, not ideal for trying to shoot a warlock, but still giving it a go. Predator tank on the field for Raver. Its shots being blocked by the energy shield, which has now been shot up. See all this blue effect here. This is the range reduction, range damage resistance buff from this Seer Council, which they themselves benefit from. I believe it's 15%, which adds up when you're taking. Dozens of shots in the engagement really adds up. 373 to 70. 2 to 1 cap for the Eldar. EM7 now has an avatar on the field. Tatla gets some Vanguard veterans. That's an orbital. I assume from Raver. Trying to catch stuff in retreat with its placement there. Couldn't quite manage it. But does get his Dire Avengers. Also gets some uh, of his own Assault Marines. Trying to kill the Dire Avengers. And they survive. The X are getting away there. Can they sweep across the bottom now, Raven? They do have a decent army. It's another orbital. How did the Banshees survive? 10 hit points. Daniel Grushin got hit pretty hard, though. Down to just two units, and they need serious reinforcements. Here's the Avatar. Super unit for Eldar. Constant buffs to surrounding units. Suppression immunity and some other stuff also pretty damn effective in combat. There you go. Of course, Kwana got the cap and ran away triple now for the Space Marines. Cats are holding northeast. Tech Marine is level five. Has really done some work with this master crafted bolter. There's that high powered shot. Vanguard veterans. First company assault marines with power melee weapons. They have a thunder hammer, a lightning claw, and two power swords. It's about 120 power, me power melee DPS altogether, I think. You can also swap out the hammer for a power fist, which is pretty handy. 297 to 54 double cap for the space marines. Eldar will take the natural back, but can they take this? Does Hecmec need some assistance? Dark, Dark Reapers are reinforcing right now. A warlock goes down. A little bit of a sloppy loss there, I think. Space Marines defend their VP. Level 2 Force Commander. Fire Prism now up for Daniel Grushin. Can it keep its distance from the tank? Can the tank get some repairs? And stop showing its rear armor? Eldar really taking the time capping this. Maybe it was harassed a bit. Going for the last cannon now, the Predator. Now that it's spotted the Fire Prism. It's a much harder counter for large targets. This is a pretty pretty scary army though. See a council supported by an Avatar. And a Fire Prism. There's a jump. Can they get motor bombs on? They can. Can the Predator tank get close enough though? Does it need to? Thunderhammer's there, or the Power Fist story is there, and gets it done. Did not last long. Double melters into a single Power Fist hit, I think, and it dealt with it. 219 to 54. Providence up for this Warlock. This could be a vital take of the VP here if they can get it. Avatar is hanging out. Banshee's chasing things off. Seer Council's doing this thing on a Laz Cannon Devastator squad. That's. That's painful. Can they kill him though? They can. 
because their leap does power melee damage, I think. Ouch! Then got hit by a plasma. I see purification piles. How long does he have those? It's another plasma kind of shot. See, council. Still have five models at like 450 hit points. They got away. 211, 48, 221 cap now for the Eldar. Having both naturals, cats are doing a great job holding the northeast. Can they get a little power bash here? They have a predator tank. That by the salt marines, they might uh, melt the avatar. There's one. And last cannon is following it from the predator tank. Force corner goes down. There's the other melter. Wrath of Cain now. And a war shout to set it up. Jumping in are the other assault marines. Could be in trouble though. There's the levitation field. Can they get the avatar down? Would be a massive win if they can. Predator tanks trying to do it, but it's very risky now. That's an amazing plasma cannon shot. Holy crap. Almost wiped out the scouts though. Warlock tries to fleet away with Providence and Warp Throw. Uh-oh. Predator tank might have got itself into massive amounts of trouble. It did. Raver got a little bit over eager there. Overextended it. Trying to get the avatar. It's very unlikely to, to get away there. But he, I think he just wanted to get the avatar down. But couldn't. Purification vials. Tactical Marines. Get the cap. There's the double for the Space Marines there. Who got a cheeky decap? Looks like it was some Marines, maybe. From HF Sage, who's got a tank on the way. Avatar did survive, needs to get back to base to heal up. Power bashing is Katzler. This Predator tank is in a very awkward position, though. Fire Dragons in play from Daniel Grushin, who is getting some more Seer Council. These are EM7s. Look at that. Those fusion guns are nuts. You have the Signum Armor and also Refractive Field for Katla. Can they take out these Fire Dragons? Yes, they can. High Powered Shot getting the last kill. Venerable Dreadnought on the field now for Katla. Unique Walker for the Tech Marine. Tons of hit points and it can charge. There we go. Usually it'll save that for trying to get away from stuff. But this one's ready for action. Oh, doesn't attack those banshees as they retreat. We have a misplay there. We've got some fire dragons on the way for Grushin. A fire prism on the way for Hekmek. That's a decent special. Warlock levels to seven. Another predator tank here. This is HF Sade. And Raver also has another one. It's a good map for tanks. There's only a few areas that are really tight in terms of pathing they need to stay away from. This area here. And there's another one near the powers, which is pretty bad. But hey, you gotta stay away from them. They're there for a reason. More fire dragons for Daniel Grushin. He's sick of these tanks, I think. In the top, it's all kicking off. The M7 comes up to assist. The Venerable Dreadnought having fun. Kind of isolated over there, though. Some grenades, some tank shots. Here comes a tech marine. Maybe could put Signum on the Avatar or the Seer Council. Are they up here? Where are the Seer Council? Oh, they're already off, off the field. Fire Prism getting shots in. There's the Global Repair for the Venerable Dreadnought. But that's a lot of damage. Fire Dragons doing their thing and the Avatar swinging. Double Fire Dragons. Take it out. There's a Stoicism. Really frantic ending here. 101 to 33 on the VPs. Eldritch hits some Marines. Also takes out a bunch of Banshees. It's a pretty good nuke though. Oh, it actually killed the Banshees. Maybe it wasn't so good. I think those were... Were those Daniel Grushin's Banshees? I guess they were. That was a nasty shot from the tank. It's pretty low though. Down to 20 hit points, but it survives. It does survive. So did the Fire Dragons. And Eldar are capping 71 to 33. What is this? It's Eldritch, it's Autarchs, it's tanks. 
It's a walk throw into the Eldritch a little bit late, but nice idea from uh, Daniel Grushin. Tactical Marines capped it. Well done, fellas. Look how much EM7 is floating. Did they not have the population for a fire prism or something? There's an orbital to try and stop this cap here. See a council gliding through to cause death. Of the carry in trouble. Knocked over again. Orbital does stop the cap for now. Yeah, this tank needs to get moving. I was just about to say, staying there for way too long shooting. It's going to go down. Fire dragons are just mental. Pod carry is taken out. Just couldn't get away. Constant knockback. Double Assault Marie is getting in there though and doing a good job. Level 3 and level 4. Raver now down to the scouts and marines. That was... They put everything into that push there. 50 to 31. Yeah, wasn't aware of that gate, obviously, but uh, the Predator should have got moving a little bit quicker. You, you just can't stay still with a tank that long unless you're behind your own lines kind of thing. Dark Reapers with Distortion Field tanking some damage here. Didn't tank that shot. 50 to 14. Warp Throw is going to get those guys off the cap. Looks like the Eldar have it. Can't get top, says Katzler. They fought really hard up there, though. That assist from EM7 really made it hard to uh, stay strong in the northeast. And there is the game. Eldar, after a frantic ending, take it. They were very strong early on, but Space Marines, as usual, came back hard. Level 4 Predator tank here from Katzler. Let's have a look at these heroes. Level 3 Warlock for Hekmek with the Witchblade of Kurnus. Level 8 Farsia. Level 8 Warlock for Grushin. Level 8 Tech Marine did really well with this Mastercrafted Bolter. Level 4 Force Commander really surprised that we didn't see the Thunderhammer, but the Power Fist did well. And a level 4 Apothecary. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.